I, like I've said before, you know, I try to do 12 to 1500 calories a day and I try to, you know, I try to count those calories all day long, but I always try, if I can, I leave a couple of hundred at the end of the day for stuff that I miss. Or actually what I've done lately is I've been shooting for a thousand calories a day because I'm trying to lose 15 pounds. And I did lose one pound, hurrah. That's why I got the big applause from all of you. Thank you. So again, I shoot for 1200 and if I end up with 13 or 1400 calories in actuality, that's fine. So I'm just gonna take these, uh, pep these potatoes that I did with salt and pepper and olive oil. I'm gonna stick them on my pan and I'm gonna put these into the oven and at 400 degrees and Mm, you know, just watch them, so maybe like 20 minutes or so in the oven, maybe a little bit longer. All right, so shallots are going into the pan. I'm over to the side as he wanted me to be. Here a little bit. We're just going to soften these up. It also said to use a non-stick skillet. I don't know why I'm not using it. Um, I don't know why they want you to, but I'm not going to use it. These are these beautiful, I love my all clad. Five minutes, hey, just in case I walk away, I always put on the timer, it doesn't hurt. What's the big deal? So, while those are softening, then we're going to add, like I said, we're gonna add the two cups of the plums. Let's see, we've got two cups of plums. I have a tablespoon of brown sugar. I have one teaspoon of ground ginger. And I need a quarter cup of dry white wine. And this is really good. I was having some of this last night. Yes, I was. It was delicious. So a quarter cup of white wine. I sort of, I have a Sauvignon Blanc here. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. It's always great to have these little dishes because uh, for these little measuring things, you don't have to use such a big bowl. So I got one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Woo! Or a little bit more is always good. And I have one teaspoon of butter, not a tablespoon, one teaspoon of butter that we're gonna finish the sauce off. And I'm actually gonna wait till I put it back in the pork pan before I use this butter. So I'm gonna put this off to the side so I don't forget it. All right, so we have another three minutes on the shallots. They're still, still hanging out, doing their thing. Um, and so this recipe has you doing, cooking that for about, um, we do, uh, we do that for about eight minutes, then we reduce, let's see, we cook that for about eight minutes, and then we add the wine and the vinegar. So I'm gonna put the wine, I'm gonna, you know, something with the handle, I'm always afraid I'm gonna knock off. So I'm gonna put the wine and the vinegar off to the side with the butter. So I don't forget it and I don't use it. And then we're just, again, we're gonna start with the brown sugar and the ginger. And then I think that's it, right? Just, I think it's just a little bit of a little bit, oh, a little bit of salt and pepper once the plums go in. Okay, so that is that, the potatoes are in. Now, while that softens up, so in a couple minutes, I'm gonna start to peel this beautiful asparagus. So I've got asparagus, and I put this in the water like they do in the store. So now don't, I've done this before, don't whip the rubber band off the top, people. You do that, I guarantee you will end up taking a head of celery um, with you. So for this recipe, you're going to get about, you're getting eight sprigs of asparagus in your, um, in your entree. And that comes, that's actually about 26 calories. No big deal. These are fatties obviously, but we're going to, we're going to trim these. Like I said, I don't know if you've ever actually, um, trimmed your asparagus, but you are just not going to believe how beautiful the color is. And we're actually going to do that in a, a pan of water here on the stove. So I've got my peeler here. And then we're just going to take our stalk and you're just going to peel it like it was a carrot. Actually, don't do it that way. Do it from the, from the crown down. You can already see this beautiful color that it has. And don't worry, it gets a little, it's hard to keep it round. You sort of get a little bit of a, um, you know, it's not quite round, but you see what I'm saying? You sort of get like that you're gonna see this asparagus once it's, um, once it's cooked and once it's blanched in ice water. Okay. So, yes, I could have had these done ahead of time, but I did not. I was very busy this morning. I worked out, I got up at four, but still wasn't enough time to get. Now some of these guys, when they get really big, you can really trim that off at the bottom. 
Now, actually, one thing I didn't do is I didn't cut the bottoms off yet. So cut them in a bias. So cut them on an angle, since we're making this beautiful presentation, right? Okay. And we're only going to do eight. So I'm actually going to cook eight because, oh, you know, I'm going to stir my onion. Don't forget about your onions. And clearly, I almost forgot because they got a little more than soft. Oh. They're sort of, they're sort of a little bit toasted, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about. It. They're not burned. They're not going to burn. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put the plums in right there. Got the plums. I did sauté them too much, but it's fine. Don't worry about. It. As long as you didn't burn it. Just tell everybody you meant to do that. Hold on, I got my timer beeping. My goodness. I'm going to put in the brown sugar and the ginger, the dried ginger. And again, if you go um, on these videos, underneath the video, you'll see, uh, if you go to my blog, E300 blog, that's where you can get the, all the ingredients uh, measured out for you that you need for all of these recipes. So, all right, so now that, I don't think we're supposed to cover this. Let's see, blah, 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 cook eight minutes until the plums are tender. So I'm going to ch actually change the burner because I'm going to start my asparagus. So I'm going to put this in the back. And while that heats up, I'm just going to actually saute this a little bit. Whoops. Too many cans. I need, I need nine burners, eight burners. All right. I could have used a bigger pan, but I decided not to. Okay. So we're just going to soften these plums up so they're going on the back. So. On the back, medium for eight minutes. I'm going to put my timer on. And I did it correctly. And now I'm going to put the pan that I'm going to do the asparagus, I'm going to put that on here. And I'm going to fill it with about, this is about four cups of water. So I just have a shallow pan. And you want just enough to come up to the top of the asparagus. And that ought to do it. I can always, let's see. Well, we can just add one. That's fine. Maybe a little bit more. We're not boiling it. We're simmering. Okay. So I did that right, correct? Yep. The wine and the vinegar are next. All right. You know, when you're in the kitchen, you got to learn how to do a million things at once. Or just keep track of me. I'm sweating. It's really warm in here. They have not turned on our air conditioner here uh, in my building. And Chicago, uh, we have had an incredible early. Um, season warm, the warmest, we've had five straight days of 80 degrees, 87 on one of these days in March, which we've never had before. <laughs> Thank you for the blot, I needed a little spritz. Woo! As long as I don't get wet spots, and oh, look at that. Now that, that was a flawed asparagus, but just because it's not like the other ones doesn't mean we can't use it. How many I got? Four, there? five, six, seven. This is the last beer we're going to get for this dish. So while we may be making more pork than we need, that's all in one pan. But I'm going to get this. I'm going to go back and stir these plums. Now, this this said non-stick, and maybe that's because I have brown sugar. So I'm actually going to turn this heat down a little bit. Mm, I can smell the ginger in this. This is great. Oh, I didn't do salt and pepper yet. Salt, let's do a little bit of pepper. And pepper, okay. All right, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit because this tall clad really heats up. Okay, my water for my asparagus is going. Um, oh, let's see, all right, so let's finish up with this. So now, we're just gonna put these into the water And I'll just keep an eye on it. I don't know exactly. I'll let you know. So, so an ice water bath is just literally ice and water. And we plunge the asparagus in there. It stops it from cooking. And it's done. Now, so that means, what does that mean? It means your asparagus won't be hot. But that's fine. You don't need to eat it hot. It will be room temperature because you'll shock it. And then you just pull it off to the side. So, let me get a paper towel. Fill it up with water, and that is your ice bath. 
So these plums have been in for about six minutes now. And so they're, they're softening, they're really, mm, it's really beautiful with this. Uh, and look, the shallots that were sort of heavily cooked, they're doing fine. They're, they've sort of softened up a little bit. You don't even notice that they were a little bit on the brown side. So we got our asparagus going. Okay, whew, we got potatoes in the oven. I'm gonna check the potatoes. Got my little tongs. You just wanna roll the potatoes around in the oven a little bit. And I have found with the fingerling potatoes, they will tell you when they're done because they just get to start a little bit, um, a little bit uh, uh, wrinkly around the, the edges or on top of the skin. You can tell that they're almost done. So, all right, so got my asparagus is still doing that. Watch your asparagus closely because you don't want to, you don't want to overcook it. And it will cook faster once you, because you've trimmed off that really heavy outside layer of the asparagus, that heavy, um, tight, uh, tough skin. It does cook a little faster, but you'll know when it's done because it'll sort of get limp when you hold it up. But this is more than, this is not ready yet. So, all right. So, let's see. I'm going to move this, show you what. So, I've got the plums. Of course, I put it on the stove, but I want to show you every little step of the way. So, we're going to bring it back. This is your balsamic vinegar. And this is your white wine. We're using a Sauvignon Blanc. Now, this is supposed to go for about 10 minutes, I think. Um, we're supposed to simmer this for 10 minutes. Put this back on the oven. Mm. Yummy. And you get a quarter cup of this for your, um, for your pork, so there should be plenty. Put this back. And put this on 10 minutes. There we go. And I think the potatoes will probably be done about 10 minutes. The pork's not going to take long, so I think everything will sort of come together very nicely at the end. So let's clean up this stuff. Okay, let's check the, uh, let's check the asparagus again. So it's getting, so let me show you that. I'm going to bring this over so Kevin can get a shot of that. So you see it's starting to get a little bit limpy. In fact, that's very limp on the bottom, on, the, on, the, on that side. Now, I did not probably trim as much as I could have towards the top. Do a little bit longer. So this has probably been about five minutes or so. It all depends on how thick your asparagus is, and it depends on how, um, how cooked you like it. Some people like it really mushy. Some people like crisp vegetables. You know what? There's no perfect way to eat it. It's however you like it. That is for sure. Right, I need another paper towel. A lemon. I'm gonna get a little bit of lemon ready because I'm gonna squeeze this. I also want a little bit of lemon and I did have parsley somewhere. I thought I had, oh, it's in the refrigerator. And I don't know if I showed this before, I'm not sure who actually I learned this from, but when you take your, um, your parsley, your cilantro, come home from the grocery store, stick it in a cup with water in it and put a bag on top of it and it makes its own little humid environment and it stays nice and fresh, which is, which is a nice thing. You can keep it for a very long time um, in the refrigerator. So these are gonna be our little garnishes. And plus I'm gonna squeeze it on top of the, on top of the asparagus. So I'm gonna put this over here. Get that ready to go. All right, let's check the asparagus now. And now I like to touch it. I like to feel it a little bit. Ooh. All right, I'm going to cook it a little bit longer. I like it a little soft, but I'm going to show. Woo! I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to pull these ends up a little bit out of the water, if I can at all. And so I'm only cooking some of the part that I didn't trim, because I don't want to overcook those sides. Now you don't have to be this crazy. 